Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is a day we are going to see if the Vendetta speed car can break 100 miles an hour. Wish me luck. <laughs> Fingers are crossed. Well, it turns out uh, <laughs> I didn't charge any of the batteries. So it's going to take a while because I only have one charger. Uh, hmm. This weird. So while those charge, what we're going to do is just do a, a run with the 3S pack, same that I did before. And we're just going to see if just the ESC alone will uh, increase speed. And then tomorrow, because it's already getting kind of late today, I have a place I'm going to go do the run. What is going on here? Yeah, I don't think it... I gotta keep this jumper from getting into the drive shaft. It's doing it again, man. Okay, so I learned something here. Uh, I went and took it out. It wasn't moving very fast. On the programmer, you tell the motor, you could tell if the motor's clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, I didn't set that. I just let it be where it was. And I noticed that when I did hit the throttle forward, it went backwards. So I used the throttle trim on here and just reversed it, but the car wouldn't go. But reverse is only set to 50%. So, if, it, if it's not programmed for the right way, then yeah, you don't get full power. I want to scuff up these tires a little bit. Wow, that was a very short-lived friggin' side skirt. That's freaking awesome. Wow. Didn't even hit anything and it broke. Let's see if we can glue that back, maybe. I also learned something here with this program. When you buy it, they give you a link to the Play Store. And this is called like GPS something or other. The other one's by like Horizon or something hobby. So, I don't know, but we'll try. Try this one, see if we don't have better luck. up 68 <clears throat> 68 68 so where were we last time i think we were up over 70 I lost it here in the shadows. There was a car coming, so I was trying to get it off the road. Which obviously, I did. I didn't crash it. But, uh, let's see. Stop. It's not even reading the, uh, 
damn it. Well, I don't know what happened, but the, it came back. So 71. So we didn't gain or lose anything by changing out the ESC. So we go here to records. Let's see, that's the last one right there, 71. The one before that was 68. So yeah, I just need to wind it out a little bit more. This app, man, this whole system is bonkers. Man, look at that. I scratched the... I flipped this thing in the damn driveway. I can't believe that. One twenty-seven. One thirty-two on the ESC. Yeah, about one thirty. 126 right there. I don't know, 130. Yeah, 130. Probably about right. Battery packs at 120. There we go. So next. We'll go ahead and take it, we'll run it on 4S, see how it does, and then, boom, we'll put in 6. So this is interesting. On this run, we did have some tire rub. Oh, look at that. Even on the little vent. So hopefully this vent prevented the tire from doing more, but we got a little nip there. We also have a little nip right here. Oh, man, we got a little mark right there and one there now this might have came from when the car flipped and the tires really ballooned as you know i mean it took off and it actually broke the skirt here so i mean they did expand because that doesn't make sense it didn't do it on the first run but now this has me worried like maybe i should you know i have some fuel tubing here i can add it to the shocks but honestly you know, what a tedious procedure to go ahead and yank these shocks apart just to put a piece of tubing in there. Uh, just, I don't know if I want to mess with that. Uh, I don't want the body damaged either, but honestly, I'm just going to one time break the speed record with this car. And then I'm probably going to gear it down and just use it as like a basher around the house. Um... Uh, you know, I still have the big ESC. I mean, I could run it on like 4S and it'll go faster than what it does on 3S. Because, I mean, honestly, out of the box, this is a great car. It's really fun. Uh, and it's just it's just that it's so easy and capable of hitting high speeds. So, uh, I do have the uh, side skirts fixed. I, I super glued here. This broke right here. And then the back piece here... Uh, it broke in three pieces, so it had this piece here that kind of broke, and then the entirety of this piece came off. So I have it super glued. What I'm going to do is reinforce it. I have some quick set epoxy. I'm going to go ahead and put on here and epoxy that up, and then we'll be ready to go out and take it for its speed run. We're going to throw a 4S in here, see what it does. And then we're going to go for broke and run the 6S. I still don't know how I'm going to get the battery to stay in here. I might just have to temporarily maybe wire tie one to the... Like I might just strap the one battery down and then just run like a wire tie around the other battery. So I don't know. It's just going to be temporary. I'm only going to run it on the 6S the one time and call it. I'm just trying to replicate what Earl Moorhead did and see if I can't get the same results doing the same thing he did. I'm not questioning what he did. I would never do that. I believe the guy 100%. I don't believe he would make up anything. I'm just trying to see, you know, it's just, it's just such an easy thing to do to make this car go fast. I mean, literally, you don't even have to do the dry shaft, but I recommend it. And it's just an ESC swap. In the, I mean, you, you, it comes with the speed gear, an ESC swap, and boom, you're done. That's crazy. 
think this car has that much potential built in. So let me go ahead and epoxy this and I'll see you at our run place. So before we get on with the speed run, check it out. I got everything epoxied. And then I decide to go ahead and do, I'm not sure how well you might be able to see. I did the fuel tubing in the front shocks. I decided I did want to soften them a little bit. I wanted to get this the rake down. But then look, in the process of doing that, I broke the front half of this piece. So now I had that epoxied as well. <laughs> Can never get ahead, I swear. So I do want to apologize. I'm still... I've filmed with a GoPro on my head before, but I've never tried to film like a cell phone. I'm still trying to get used to that. So I know I've missed several of the shots earlier. I know I've missed showing the cell phone. So I'll be working, be uh, trying harder on that. Uh, I did modify the little GPS unit here. I figure if there's an accident or if this thing comes loose somehow and then you're trying to find this little black device off in the grass or anything like that. So I just took some regular like DOT tape. It comes red and white. You know, it's like like that. I just I figured the white would be easier to notice. So I put a little bit down here. I, I am going to reapply the dual lock. The stuff I have here now is the low profile. I didn't realize that there was two of them, so I got the normal stuff coming. It's supposed to grab a lot better, so that's why that's clear. But I put the reflective tape all the way around and put just one piece here. I didn't want to uh, put it too much on the tops because it might interfere with the satellite, but I already tried it. It gets satellite reception, no problem. So it's a good idea, I think, for anybody that uses these things because, if, like I said, if you get an accident, this thing shoots out from the car. Uh, it's dark, you know, especially on a road, it might be hard to find too, but definitely off in the grass or the dirt. So, and then the worst case, if you can't find it during the day, you come back at night, start waving a flashlight around, you should be able to find it. It would be nice if they built in something that if you lost it, you could hit something and it would, uh, start beeping. But anyway, look at that's a cool little tip right there. Uh... So you notice in the videos I had a problem with this car sliding all over the place. I think it's just those tires were still new. Even a couple of donuts in the driveway wasn't enough to scuff them up. So the tires were extremely slick, but I think we got them broken in now. They look nice and scuffed. And then two, I noticed when I put the programmer into the ESC, the voltage was at like 7.4, I believe, or whatever it was, 7.6, 7.4 for the uh bec voltage i kicked that down to six i feel like that higher voltage just had the steering servo moving a bit faster which is another reason the car was so uh twitchy and then too if you do buy like a used esc you should get a programmer because it had the motor timing at like 25 26 degrees now I did. I don't know a whole lot about timing, but from what I've read, that the higher the timing, it's. it's I guess it's good for speed runs, but it also gets the motor really hot. Uh, I never saw anything in any of Earl's videos where he messed with the engine timing, so I tried to find out what the normal timing is. And according to the ARMA forms, most people said like 10 or 11 degrees. So that's what I have it set at. It's like 11 degrees. So I backed it off from that uh, 26 degrees, which might damage the little motor I'm, I'm not sure i'm like i said i'm not sure how that all works but i'm not sure what this esc came out of i'm not sure maybe somebody had it in a car and then took it out or the factory set it up with it i don't know maybe this came out of a crawler and they like i said i don't know enough about the timing but i did back that down so there we have it I, fingers crossed this thing stays planted it stays in one piece and we have a good speed run. Alright, I'm going to try to make this short because I don't want this video getting long. But these are some of the struggles you have with RC cars. And this has nothing to even do with the speed build. It's just this is a new RC, right? So I got out there to do the speed run, was all set, powered it on, and I couldn't get the remote to, to do anything. Wouldn't steer, wouldn't throttle. 
came back here I rebound the remote but I still don't have throttle response so I'm thinking it's either the receiver or the remote so I go and get the remote for my felony it's the same thing it's a DX3 I bound that remote to here still the same thing steering no throttle so then I went and got this I had this little receiver from the infraction this is the cheapy deal that doesn't have the gyro so because the DX3 won't bind to it so I went inside got the original remote for this turned it on boom everything works forward reverse left right everything I could have left that but this doesn't have a gyro and if you're going 100 or so I'd rather have the gyro so for the time being until I ever hear back from Spectrum I emailed them I'm waiting to hear back uh, I'm gonna put the Dumbo radio in here for now because at least the Dumbo you can bind many cars to it so I'm gonna put the Dumbo receiver in here and we'll be out for the speed run when I get this in. Some of the some of the struggles, man. All right, everyone, it's in. We'll be running the car tomorrow with the Dumbo RC. And you know, I actually don't even hate it because the Dumbo has a uh, dual rate for the steering, which means I can turn it down. So the wheels will only turn, but so much, and I can slow that down. So that way. Even if I make big inputs on the wheel panicking, it shouldn't result in like a super sharp turn in the car crashing. So it is what it is. I contacted Spectrum. I'll wait to hear from them. But uh, when I put a new receiver in here and everything works, and then I took this receiver and hooked it up to the original ESC and brushed motor out of my infraction and a new servo, I took all the other electronics out of play everything connected to this receiver is new it still has the throttle problem so it kind of narrows it down tomorrow fingers crossed everything works we can get this car to blast through 100 it's going to stay on the ground and it will make uh, earl proud that we replicated what he did and get this car to blast down the road so we'll see you in the morning all right, ladies and gentlemen, let me give you a little update as to where we've been with this car. Uh, I came out here the other day and tried to run it, and I could not keep it straight. It would not stay straight to save its life with the Dumbo radio. The same problem I have when I run the infraction. No matter how much I set the trim, I cannot get the car to stay straight. So when you're trying to run at speed, you're always making this adjustment. And the faster you go, the harder that is to try to keep this thing straight on the road so uh, yeah so now I have this DXC5 and now we should be able to keep the car straight so I'm gonna do a run here on 4s We'll see how it goes if I feel like I can keep the car under control and that I have enough room down this one road here I'll throw in the 6s if, if I'm running out of room and I don't think I can get to it then I'm not gonna push the car because I only have this is the only place I know of around here that's a long straight that doesn't have reflectors see here in the south it doesn't snow we don't plow so all the roads have reflectors so it's really hard to find some place in the, I don't know where there's any industrial parks like I see some people running their stuff in so um, so there you have it let's try to keep this uh, I did run the car yesterday in front of the house to see if the motor timing had any impact on speed and it did. The car wouldn't go past 66 so I put the motor timing back up to uh, the 26 degrees where the car ran 71 which was like the stock um, numbers for this. That's what uh, Arma said it should run. so. I guess they just, uh, they must have the timing ramped up on these things. So. Oh boy, wish me luck. Hope this thing stays on the ground. Uh, I have my 
fire extinguisher like our friend Earl always says have a fire extinguisher ready this is specifically for uh, it does other things but it's designed for lithium fires so lithium fires are quite different all right there we got started ah Man, <sighs> damn it. So look at that. I hit this thing. I sent the car friggin' airborne. Well, we hit 78. Not exactly like uh, groundbreaking. Ah, poor car. Guess it could be worse. Got a little more scar here, but other than that, it looks like it's. And I wouldn't waste my money on these underskirts. This 3D printed stuff is. It ain't durable. So I turned the AVC down. I feel like it's responding a little bit too much, like the car's wagging. It was at 50, I cut it down to 40. You know, this is just gonna be a process of trying to, I don't think you can just come out here and run 110 without a whole lot of experience. And I've never run that fast, so. Still a 78. It's got more in it. I just, I can't like stay in the dang throttle that long. We're going to try one more pass. This is on 4S. I don't think 6S is going to happen. I, I need more room, man. I feel like this is the best I was going to get because I was able to stay in the throttle about as long as I could. Alright, stop. Read. 81. I think 80. Yeah, that's the fastest I got. 81. I think that's about what you're going to get on the 4S is 81. Because yeah, you have 4 cells, so that's 10 more. 80. It's hard to believe that 6S is going to be that much more punch but I, I i don't have enough space i mean I, it's winding out and you could hear it still pulling i don't know i just i don't know i guess we try one pass with 6s so this is how you cool down everything between passes little battery powered fan i just sit it here and man everything does gets nice and nice cold because that esc was hot 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 the motor wasn't so bad but yeah we're gonna I was gonna go ahead and let that fan sit there for a few minutes let everything cool down and we'll give it one 6s run I'm, I'm not I don't think I'm gonna break a hundred I just I don't think I have enough space you know everybody I watch that does speed runs I mean this this here it's barely two lanes this it's barely a two lane but this is the best I can find in my local area that is straight and doesn't have reflectors that's my biggest problem I know I've like where Earl runs it's like a four lane highway and it's great because if you do get squirrely you know you could you can break and you got room to recover I'm off in the grass and the car's tumbling and then there's the transition between 
this road that comes here and there's that one spot I gotta be careful I already hit it and flipped the car and if I run out of room we're gonna go off and maybe hit that tree <laughs> or a barricade or something I just there's no industrial park you know I've, I've seen a few people that they they run on the weekends at, at these big industrial parks but I don't have any of that here not in the local area at least even this is a drive for me but <sighs> and I don't dare try to do this on my uh, where I live the, the streets not much wider and the pavements worse and if I go off I hit a mailbox all right here we go 6s Oh, come on, man. What the hell? I ain't even got going yet. It might be I got the expo turned down. So maybe it's just slow to get back on the center. I don't know. Maybe that wasn't a good thing to do. Nope, never even got the full throttle on that. Man, at least that's the nice thing with this. I'm looking at my ESC temps at 190, so I'm kind of pushing it. We'll give it one more. Oh, yeah. Ugh. As soon as I go full throttle, it just... Launches the back end around. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Oh, shit! Yeah. Ah, sorry, car. Tell you what, it's a tough car, though. It is tough. At least it flipped in the grass, right? At least it flipped there. Hey, the battery stayed in too. That's good. See, it's so much power for this. Six S is just a lot of power here. Yeah, I need to get this thing to cool. Oh, 224. Whoa. That can't be right, can it? Stop. Read. 86. 86. Yeah. It's not even close to 100. Ugh. Well, everyone, uh, I think we're going to have to wrap it up there. This. It's taking me a long time just to get this part of the video made. Uh, I'm just going to have to do my research and find a place. Find a place that will let me uh, run. Uh, look at They only got the ESC double stick tape. I guess I should. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Damn, that thing is hot. Holy crap. That says 143. 153 this says 180 so I'm not sure where it's getting the uh, temperatures from but 174 oh it might be reading the motor that might just be motor temp yeah because 168 oh this does say motor wow Ooh. so yeah I am all right let me go ahead and let me get my fan on here, cool this thing down. All right, everyone, like I said, I'm going to have to do some research and try to find a better place to run. Something with some more room, and I need to practice my driving at speed and figure out what I'm doing. And I'm going to have to screw that down because that being loose, 
Well, I mean, it's fine. It's just... All right, everyone. Sorry. Uh, couldn't... Can't do it. I just... I went on Google Maps and measured this road. It's like 600 feet. 680 feet. I don't even begin to think that's enough space to try to get this thing to 100. Because you really need a long rollout. Because you can see, if I try to go full full throttle on this thing, it's just lighting up the back end. And that's even with a AVC on at 50%. Oh, it is what it is. I mean, the, the car definitely has a lot more in it. It has a lot more in it. And like I said, I just I need a space that's better situated. The the roads that we have down here all have reflectors, and if you're doing a hundred and hit a reflector, I mean, I was only going, I probably wasn't even going but sixty when I hit that because I was slowing down, and the car launched and flipped. And I mean, you have seen that that tarmac or the the tar was only like that high. So, well, everyone, that's it. So I guess uh, 80, what, whatever it was, 81. <laughs> this is what we're getting out of this. So, it is what it is. You know, you, you need the proper environment to do this. If I could have access to just a, a longer, straighter road, that'd be something else. But I'll look. Maybe we'll find something. We'll go out and uh try that one. Oh, look at that this poor car well, well that's why i got two of them all right everyone thanks for watching hope to see you on the next one